Does anyone believe that they're in a relationship with you? Is there anyone who thinks that you are theirs? Hello and welcome back. I pray that you're keeping well. I pray that you're safe. My name is Judy and on this channel I give wisdom tips and encouragement so you can live your best life. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We have been talking about dating and today I'm going to talk about great questions that a woman can ask a guy on a first date. Now dates are meant for you to collect data, to evaluate this person. So you don't find yourself in a situationship. You want to know his thinking process, what he values, um, and what he wants for his future. You want to know if you are a fit. You don't want to waste your time and your emotions because time is precious. If they are not comfortable with these questions, then chances are that they're not very serious. They're not looking for something serious. If they're looking for something serious, they will not mind these questions. In fact, they will ask the same questions. So you don't have to feel bad about asking them. You might just save yourself two years of wasted time with someone who should never have made it past the second date. Let's get to the questions. So question number one, are you single? Is there anyone who would be upset that you're here on this date with me? Does anyone believe that they're in a relationship with you? Is there anyone who thinks that you are theirs? Just because they ask you on a date does not mean that they are single. People have very different value systems and so don't make assumptions. I know someone who dated a man for a whole year and then they found out that he was married and she was like, how come you didn't tell me that you're married? And he went, you didn't ask. So listen, ask, don't make assumptions, okay? The second question you can ask him, what are you looking for in a relationship? And this question is important because you want to know if you want the same things. Maybe he just wants to hang out. And here you are looking for a husband. If he says things like, oh, I don't know, I just want to see where this goes. Now that's a red flag. Because when a man wants a serious relationship, he will let you know. Number three, where do you see yourself in five years? Now with this question, you want to know their goals in life. Um, you want to know if they have a plan. You want to know if settling down is one of those plans. How long do they plan on being single? Number four, why didn't your previous relationship work? This is an important one because you want to know if they'll take responsibility for their part of why that relationship failed. You want to know if they learned some lessons, if they're trash talking that person, if they're uh, blaming them and they're victim playing, then that could be a red flag. Number five, what does love look like to you? Again, people have very different perspectives and different beliefs when it comes to love. So you want to find out if you're on the same page. Number six, What's the place of God in your life? This question will reveal whether they have a relationship with God and what kind of relationship that is. Number seven, what do you do for growth? Most times people ask, what do you do for fun? But a very important question for you to ask as well would be, what do you do for growth? Because if he doesn't articulate an intentional effort to grow, then it means that he is stagnant. So if you're growing and you get with a man who is not growing, then eventually you'll grow apart. We are at number eight. What does success look like to you? Now this can reveal a lot about their value system, the things that they value. If it's all about material stuff and everything is about themselves and that it's just self-centered, then that's a red flag. There should be something about their purpose and, and serving others and, and their assignment. Number nine, what do you and your friends like to do? Now you can learn a lot about a man by what he does with his friends, where he goes, what they do, and we have arrived at number 10. What do you consider to be a deal breaker in a relationship? Again, this question will reveal to you if you have the same value system, um, if you're going the same direction, if you want the same things. And there you have it, 
10 great questions to ask a guy on the first date. Now, I have to warn you, someone can give you perfect answers to these questions because they have mastered the answers. Just like in an exam, someone can cram and still pass. Therefore, you still have to pray about it and use good old common sense. Even though your head might be in the clouds, you have to keep your feet on the ground. See you next time.